Hello and welcome to Search Smugglers Let's Play. We got episode uh, 5 of season 2. And uh, well, I have been a uh, little bit busy since last. So I went uh, mining and uh, I, thanks to this nice uh, pulverizer and my mining I do have all the metals I need for a while at least. So lots of iron and tin and uh, silver, copper, not so much copper actually, but uh, I'll do all right for a while, and even gold. What I did not find much of is uh, diamonds, I only managed to find three diamonds so far, so not so much. But we'll get back to that later. So I also started constructing uh, what is going to be my new uh, machine house, or whatever you want to call it, where I'm going to keep the heavy machinery and uh, engines and whatnot. So it's going to be like a little bit special design, we'll see how it turns out. And I found, uh, you see, this is a marble brick that I'm building out of. I think it looks kind of cool. And I found right over here a nice source of... Uh, what did I call it? Marble, yes. So this is my little quarry, marble quarry. Very handy. But uh, right now, I want to go collect some bees. I really love the beekeeping from forestry. I absolutely do. So I am gonna start with that. And also, uh, forestry has added uh, tree breathing. So if you have bees close to trees, they can uh, pollinate the trees and you can actually get new species of uh, trees if you crossbreed different trees. That's also something I want to get into. So let's start off with uh, a scoop. Was it two wool or how did we make this? stick. See? Any eye. Great little tool for those who can't remember things, like me. And we did have a beehive right up here. And also I'm going to steal uh, one of the apiaries from this uh, guy over here. Scoop. Meadows, princess. Because it, uh, you need uh, seed oil to make impregnated ca casings. Uh, and you need to do that in a carpenter. So there's... Uh, you're gonna need a couple of machines from forestry before you can make uh, your own apiaries. So... I'm gonna steal one of these marshy queen. I guess the marshy queen doesn't like the climate here. So he probably won't mind if I uh, just borrow this for a while. And these are slots for what's called the frames. And frames uh, improve the production of whatever resources the bees produce. So let's... Uh, all they do, as far as I know. Mm, maybe it's not an axe. Pickaxe? Yeah, that was better. And... Uh, maybe I should just borrow this one as well. I don't have the inventory for it. Oh well, I'll come back and um, borrow it later. 
Nothing to see here. I didn't take anything. Don't look at me. Don't listen to him. He's just lying. I think they bought it. So I'll go and clear up my inventory and then go out hunting for some more bees. Well, I don't really need to. I only have one apiary or possibly two. So I can't keep a lot of them, but I like to go hunt for different kinds of bees. So I'll be back in a little while. And here's a uh, forest hive. I remembered I saw this when I first entered the village. So, yoink. And uh, back here I see something else of interest. Another volcano. They seem to be frequently appearing in this area. Looks kind of cool though. I must say. Awesome. Anyway, let me hunt some more bees and uh, I don't think that's terribly interesting to watch so I'll be back when I am uh, ready to do something more interesting. Okay, so I quenched my appetite for bees for a little while. And heading back home, I thought I'd show you this flax seed here, flax flower, whatever. So this is what it looks like when it's fully grown. You can just mark that and you get a bunch of string and seeds. Let's replant it. And uh, actually in red power you can do a lot of things with this string. You can make uh, canvas. Leave. yes canvas and this canvas can be used to make uh, bags canvas bags that you can uh, hold but kind of like backpacks but uh, well you get more inventory space you can say and they can be used for some other things oh yeah the bags can be colored that's kind of cool also so what else do we got? Yeah, wooden sail. That's part of a power generation device, uh, windmill kind of system that comes from from uh, red power. So I might try that eventually. But right now I want to make a map of this area. And uh, I understand that many people think that maps are kind of useless. And uh, that's... Uh, well, I don't agree, let's just say. I really like the maps, uh, the Minecraft maps. But I want to show you something that I think a few might have overlooked when they th say that uh, maps are so useless and that is that you can actually zoom out a map so if I were to make a map one standard map it's a blank map until I right click it then it's a map of this immediate area and yes, at this scale the map is not very useful. I mean, I don't have to venture very far to be outside the reach of this map. But you can just place this guy back in the crafting table and surround him with more paper. And uh, you get a zoomed out version. And you can repeat this process several times and get something that is uh, really zoomed out so you can run quite far from home and still uh, be inside the map. And also if you place uh, your map together with an empty map you get a, a, 
a copy of that map and those two maps are linked together so you can uh, give one to a friend and keep one or you can put one in an item frame and keep the one on your person that's something I used to do because it looks very cool to have them on the wall but for now I'm just gonna zoom it out a few more times until I get something I'm satisfied with so at this scale you can still kind of make out the village there and uh, if I move away from here I probably can see my house as well but uh, of course as you, the more you zoom them out the less details you can see obviously but I use it mostly to easily find my way home when I am out exploring. And I know there are mods like Ray's minimaps that uh, do an excellent job of mapping, but uh, I prefer this uh, actual physical map that you have to hold, hold, not some kind of magical HUD display map that just appears. I think I'm going to zoom this one out at least one more time. So you can spend lots of paper on this, obviously. This is probably the scale I want to go with. I think you can zoom it out, zoom it out one more time or maybe two, but that's uh, pretty much the limit. So I just wanted to show you that little feature. It's the standard vanilla Minecraft, so I don't know how many people have missed it, but apparently they have. So I'm going to work on this uh, machine house now, and uh, I'll be back when it's uh, a little more complete. Be back in a while. So my uh, new factory here is starting to take shape, and I. Uh, it's going to be kind of a special design, let's say. So I want to show you something uh, from Red Power 2. Uh, you see these marble bricks that I used? Uh, you cannot craft like uh, slabs from them and you can't craft stairs from them. However, Red Power uh, introduces uh, something called the micro blocks. So if I were to take something like this and craft myself what's called a hand saw. I can do it with a couple of different materials. This is the basic the handle and the iron and then the kind of the edge can be different materials diamond being the hardest of course so if i use this and uh, place together with uh, these bricks let's see i can uh, make slabs that way and it's going to take a little bit of durability from the saw when i do this so let's try this and i think and then you can carve them up further into strips and all kinds of neat things that you can decorate with. So if I now want to place like, like that, so it acts like a standard slab, stone slab, with the difference that you can Put it like on that direction. Can't do that with the stone slab. So really neat things you can do with uh, red power. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue building this. There's gonna be some glass roof and. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it look like a slanting glass roof here but we'll see how it turns out 
Anyway, it's uh, almost time to wrap up this episode. I'm trying to keep the episodes a bit shorter this uh, season than last. But uh, instead, hopefully I can put them out more often. So I um, liberated these two apiaries. And uh, you see this leaf block here is a different color. That means that uh, my bees here have done their job and uh, crossbreeding of some sort has happened here between this tree and some other tree in the vicinity. Now, uh, this is basically a thing you just leave them to work here for a long time when you do something else. And every once in a while one of these leaves is gonna mutate and uh, possibly give you a new species of uh, tree or just a standard tree that you already have you never know the thing is it's uh, this block has a standard uh, i think it's like five percent chance to drop a sapling just like any other leaves except uh, well jungle is even more scarce i believe so there's only like 120 that's actually gonna drop me in the new sapling, so. But it's a fun little addition. I really like it. And different species of bees uh, produce these crossbred leaves at different speeds. So for now I just have the basic meadows and uh, forest bees. So I'm going to continue building uh, this place over here and I think uh, some of the first machines that's going to go in here will be forestry stuff like centrifuge to take care of the honeycombs from the bees and uh, possibly a carpenter to make the bee elizer and the tree elizer to get me going with the breathing stuff but we'll see in next episode so next time we see each other I think this house should be ready and we can get started on some machines so thank you for watching and until next time bye bye <laughs>